What if you invented something so revolutionary that it threatened major industries? Rudolf Diesel did, and his fate was as surprising as it was disturbing. He invented a more efficient engine, designed to run on vegetable oils, an alternative that could have changed the world. But how did an inventor with one of the most valuable patents in history disappear without a trace? Today we'll take a look at his story and the theories behind his disappearance. Rudolf Diesel was born in Paris, France, in 1858, into a family of German immigrants. From an early age, he showed a keen interest in mechanics and engineering. His family moved to Germany, and there he studied at the prestigious Technical University of Munich, where he became a disciple of Karl von Linde, a pioneer in industrial refrigeration. Diesel was an ambitious young man, with a clear idea, to improve the engines of his time. At that time, the steam engine and the internal combustion engine dominated the industry, but both were inefficient. Gasoline engines wasted a lot of fuel, and steam engines were huge and heavy. Diesel dreamed of an engine that would make better use of the energy contained in the fuel. And so he began to develop a new concept that would change the future of engineering. At the end of the 19th century, he would begin work on his revolutionary design. Unlike gasoline engines, his engine did not need a spark to ignite the fuel. Instead, it used extreme compression to heat the air inside the cylinder to extremely high temperatures, enough for the fuel to ignite spontaneously when injected. This process, known as compression ignition, made its engine far more efficient than those of its time. It consumed less fuel, generated more power and ran on cheaper oils than gasoline. In 1892, Rudolf Diesel patented his invention, and in 1897, he presented his first working prototype to the world. Unlike gasoline engines, which had efficiencies of only 10 to 15 percent, his engine could reach 40 percent efficiency, which was impressive for the time. Companies around the world became interested in its technology. His engines began to be used in ships, factories, and electric generators. He would soon become an influential man and a millionaire, but not everything in his life would be successful. Despite his genius, he was not a good businessman. He faced financial and legal problems with companies trying to appropriate his technology. His engine was too innovative, and many in the oil and gasoline industry saw his invention as a threat to their dominance. And it was so amazing, this engine could run on vegetable oil, which meant that in the future farmers could produce their own fuel, without relying on oil. An idea that was too dangerous for some powerful people at the time. Moreover, Diesel suffered from constant health problems, his success had been accompanied by extreme stress and a life full of ups and downs. But none of that could have predicted what was about to happen. On September 29, 1913, Rudolf Diesel boarded the ship Dresden in Antwerp, Belgium, bound for England. He was traveling to attend a meeting with British businessmen interested in using his engine in the Royal Navy. It seemed like a normal trip. Diesel had dinner on board and retired to his cabin at about 10 p.m. He was on his way back to his cabin. But the next day, when the ship's staff came to wake him up, his room was empty. His bed was untouched, his pocket watch and coat were neatly folded on the table, but he had disappeared without a trace. Ten days later, a body was found floating in the North Sea. It was in an advanced state of decomposition, so it could not be identified with certainty. Personal items found on the body led his family to conclude that it was Diesel. But, what really happened? Since his disappearance, multiple theories have tried to explain what happened to him. I am going to present you the four hypotheses that are handled, and you will say which one convinces you more. Some believe that, overwhelmed by his financial and health problems, Diesel eliminated himself by throwing himself into the sea. However, his trip to England was for promising business, and his actions before disappearing showed no signs of despair. Another theory suggests that Diesel was eliminated by oil interests. His engine posed a danger to the big fossil fuel companies, and his sudden death prevented his invention from advancing any faster. In 1913, Europe was on the brink of World War I. Some historians believe that German agents may have eliminated diesel to prevent its engines from being used by the British Navy. And finally, a less popular theory says that diesel faked his death to escape his financial problems and live in anonymity. 
However, there was never any evidence that he was still alive after his disappearance. To this day, the truth remains a mystery.